down. Up or down. I'll keep them in the middle this time. So I was recently asked to make a video dedicated to iPad Mini 2 performance. Just how does the iPad Mini 2 perform on the latest versions, iOS 10, iOS 11. So that is exactly what I'm going to be doing right now. When you first get on the home screen, you'll see some lag and there'll be stuttering of animations. It's just kind of okay. It's still usable, definitely, but of course the home screen, the whole, the whole thing is not as good as a 10 and a half inch iPad. But if you're buying an iPad mini 2, you'll know that it's not as good as a 10 and a half inch iPad. So for most apps, I don't use that many that are not games, probably like two or three. Off Safari, like just web browsing, is not great. So let's say I'm just opening the Safari app and I want to look something up. I'll type in what I want to search, but when I type it in, it's like slow to open the thing and it like lags to do the typing. It's hard to explain. I always just prefer to do web browsing on my laptop. But on the other hand, the YouTube app works just fine. It's smooth to scroll, you can play back video fine, although I don't know if this is just a mobile thing or just like an old device thing, but you can't play 4K video or video at 60 frames a second. You have to like, like 1440p at 30 frames a second is like the max. And I actually prefer watching YouTube on my iPad than I do on my laptop because even though I get 60 frames a second on my laptop, I just, I like the YouTube app probably better than the YouTube desktop version. And for games, I don't play that many. I only consistently play two, which is Heyday and Clash Clans. But for the ones I do use, this is what they perform like. So Heyday is, it can be also slow and stuttery and laggy at times. And sometimes when I log in to Heyday and I'm just trying to browse, it'll often crash because of lag and I'll have to restart it more often than I would hope. It, like, I can still play it, but it's not desirable, if you know what I mean. But Clash Clans, on the other hand, works perfectly fine. It's smooth, it's great. And yes, I have a new Town Hall 6, don't judge me. And I have a bunch of also random games on my iPad that I haven't deleted for some reason, like Stack, Stack Works, Crossy Road, Crossy Road works. But basically any light app on this iPad that's just like light works completely fine. If you do like really heavy apps, which I haven't really tried, they'll definitely not work. But any light app do does work, which is surprising because this thing is almost five years old. So overall, I, de I do think you should still buy the iPad mini too if it's, if you like the size, you don't need it to do a lot of things, and of course, and if you don't have the money to spend on $300, $400 iPad Mini 4s and 2017 iPads. And anyways, that's, I guess that's the video. I hope you enjoyed or found it useful. And if you have any video ideas slash suggestions of video ideas that you would like me to make in the future, please leave them down in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next one.